After creating our substation, in this video, we will activate the application, and do some tests. In the end, we will show you how to add new bays, to an existing application. Before the run, we will set the following options, property watch, which allows us to see tag values, and change them, to test functionalities, trace window, that will allow us to trace any application module, in case of problems, devices, since we are going to test with an IED simulator, alarms, datasets, scripts, historian and displays, because our demo uses these modules. The program starts by asking for, the user's code and password. The opening screen, is the single line diagram of a substation, where all the bays are flashing, indicating that there is no communication. We will run the IED Explorer program, that can function as an IEC 61850 server. We will load an ICD file, from the protection relay of 11 F1 feeder bay. Once the simulator starts the communication, the bay stops flashing. Then we close the highlight switch, in the simulator. The addresses of the points, in the points table are exactly the path in the IEC 61850 tree, with the items separated by the dollar symbol. We now navigate, to the detail screen of feeder 11 F1. And change two phases of its current, seeing them change in the highlighted area. Each bay has a button, identified by name, and if we click on it, we navigate to the detail screen, of that bay, as shown now when we navigate to the 11H1 bay, and after Intrafa bay. At the top of the screen, there are buttons that take us to several system reports, and graphs. First, we navigate to the day's alarms, where all columns have filters, and we select only feeder events in the proper columns. Second, we navigate to the report that presents, the main tag parameters selected by a filter and we filter the tags for the phase A and B currents, of the 11F1 feeder bay, that we just changed. The third button selected, shows a history of selected measurements and, again, we selected through the filter the measurements of the two currents. Finally, we select trends, and again, filter the currents of feeder 11F1. The screen cursor option is selected, and shows the value of the selected variables, at the cursor position. When we click on the variable, at the bottom of the graph, it is highlighted. We change the graph to show us historical measurements from 11 a.m. to 12 hours and 20 minutes. We change the value of the phase A current and then change the vertical bar sampling interval. We will navigate to the detail of feeder 11 F2, and using the property watch tool. We will simulate some changes, showing its usefulness to test the behavior of the application. We close the circuit breaker and act on instantaneous and temporized overcurrent protection, seeing its changes. To conclude, let's end the program and show how to add new bays to the system. Suppose, for example, that after one year, it is necessary to add a new capacitor bank bay, to the substation. The action is very simple. Just add this new bay, including its channel and node.
and perform the deployment. The program will only explode the points of the new bay, because when a bay is created, a flag is added to it, and the deployer removes this flag, after being executed. After that, we add the new bay in the single line diagram, and we finished. When we rerun the program, everything is up to date, and functional, as you can see. More information talks to us, or sends an email. In the next video, we will present, how to change the substation component, to adapt it to the culture of your customer.